I can move things, you know? It's been it's been a while since I made a video, but we're here, okay? Episode 59 of Horizons Review is out for you guys today, okay? I'm gonna record all three episodes that I missed uh, in the span of like the next couple hours, and then I'll have them upload like, not back to back, but like one day apart from each. That's my, my goal, my game plan. But I do apologize. I, I might make just a community post talking about where I've been, what I've been doing, okay? Um, so I'll, I'll get you guys that uh, hopefully tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I'm still debating. But anyways, episode, <laughs> episode 59 review of Pokemon Horizons is here. And let me just say, okay, let me just say, I... Okay, this might be like my bias because I, I, you guys know I love the Quaxin line. The Quaxin line is my favorite like starter in Generation Nine, and then honestly, Quake Quavo is like one of my favorite starters. Period. It's like it's it's brand new, right? But it's already like topping like my favorites. Uh, like if you guys remember the fucking like tier list I made like a couple months ago, it's up there. Okay, my boy Quake Quavo is like way up there. So this might be some bias from your point of view. But I don't give a fuck, okay? <laughs> Quaxley was a fucking G. Quaxwell, like, okay, he didn't get a lot of love. But but listen, the episode was great, okay? Honestly, it kind of went how I was expecting it to go in terms of, like, the battle between Dot and Larry. So here's some keynotes that I want to bring up, okay? I know for a fact that Tinkerthing was going to do shit. Why? Because it's true. Like, they, they even said it throughout the episode. Tinkerthing has not had any battle experience up to this point, ever. So the fact that people potentially could have thought that it was gonna do something or achieve something, I had my doubts, and I'm glad they didn't go that route. Like, it was her first her first battle, I'm like, oh, the, she's gonna just come in here and just dominate, you know, because, oh, main character and stuff. But I'm glad they didn't go that route, okay? I'm really glad that they're not just forcing our characters to automatically win all the time, okay? It's not the, the old school bias of, like, main character, you know, brand new Pokemon, it's gotta be the spotlight, so it's gonna shine, it's gonna... No, we don't do that in Horizon. And I'm glad they did that, okay? I'm really glad they're doing that. My only thing is, why is Doc the only one that's lost twice? Actually, if you really wanna count it, because I, I don't think, I don't count Dot's victory against Poppy as a victory for Dot, because I don't know the one that did the thing. So, if you really wanna sit down and talk about it, she's like lost three times, right? Like, she hasn't really had a victory against any of these people. So, I'm just I'm just confused why the best of the three kids is being, like, knocked down so much. It's not fair to my girl Dot, okay? It's not fair. It's not fair to my boy Quaxley either, okay? Rudeness. So, like, that's the only thing about it. It's like, I don't understand why they're really making Dot, like, even though she's, like, in terms of skill, the best out of the three, she's the one that's, like, keeps losing. <laughs> Right? She had all these wins at the beginning of the series to, to show how good she is and like her skills and all that stuff. But now when it fucking matters, she just keeps losing. I, I don't know. <laughs> why are you doing this to my girl? Okay? Now listen, boy's still my number one. Okay? But she deserves better than this. That's all I'm going to say. Um, the, the fucking, okay. I guess I'll like, I'm going to make these reviews so much short. Okay? Because realistically, I'm not trying to like go into full details of everything that happened in the episodes anymore. I just want to state that Quaxley really shown off why it's such a cool Pokemon in terms of like, you know, the actual lore of the, of the, of the games and stuff like that. Because it's a Pokemon that's designed around dancing. Kind of like, and I, I, I'm glad that they did the Oracordo thing at the beginning. Uh, the flamenco version. I don't fucking remember what, I think it's Dancer, right? Is that the one? The, the red one? The flyer one? Is that is that the one that was called? Because, like, I know, like, each one has, like, their own fucking title for some shit. Um, but I think that's the one that we have there. So I like the fact that they, they show off the fact that Quaxley as a concept is about incorporating dances into its routine. So we've always seen Quaxley dancing throughout the series, right? And it's always, like, and he's always used it to his advantage, right? Anytime Quaxley has learned a new move is because of the dancing. Right? So the evolution became a part of his dancing. So that, that's why I kept saying, even before all this happened, that out of the three kids, and of the three starters, you know, Spigatito, Quaxley, and Fagogo, the one that truly deserved to evolve was Quaxley. I still stand by the fact that Spigatito evolved a little too early, and I hope to God that Fagogo doesn't evolve um, in his battle against, um, who the fuck are they facing? I forget. Rhyme. Right. They're facing Rhyme. I don't think that and I hope that 
play Coco doesn't evolve, but I'm pretty sure they're going to do it just to like match the kids because they're they're trying to keep them somewhat near the same level. I don't I don't think that. I don't I don't fall for that. I, I it's probably going to happen, okay? It's more likely going to happen just because of the way I'm thinking how these writers are trying to lead into this stuff. But I'm going to be more upset when Fue Coco evolves than this one. Because this one felt earned. Everything that Quaxley has been going through throughout the series has led to this moment. Right? I, he still lost. Okay? Which was expected. I didn't think that Dot was going to beat Larry. But the evolution itself was earned. But, you know, unlike every other evolution that's happened up to this point. Okay? I still stand by the fact that Watcho didn't need to evolve when it did. I still think Tsugatito's evolution was kind of undeserved and the Hatena to Hatrim evolution also felt a little like just thrown in together, right? So, I guess that, there's, again, you might just throw, throw on your, your bias is coming in, right? It's showing off and stuff like that and I can definitely see it from that point of view. But, objectively speaking, Quaxley's makes sense. Up to this point, Quaxley has the most battle experience, has shown progressive growth, um, and it's, it's theme works with it. The fact that every time it's dancing, every time it's learning new dances, it's a progress that leads it to where it's gonna be, right? So again, it might look like bias, okay? Because of how much I like this Pokemon line, but objectively speaking, this is the only evolution that has happened in this saga that actually makes sense. Personally speaking, objectively speaking, however you wanna look at it, it actually works. So I'm gonna leave it off there before I go on another tangent, okay? I liked the episode, it was really fun. Um, I enjoyed it all. Dot, Larry, Larry was a G, okay? I love what they did with him. And it, it was a fun episode, it was fun. Uh, I'm I'm wondering what the next two that I've missed are, which I think the next one is the, the Fridgebacks episode, I think that's what it is, I don't remember. Um, they're like some snow area, right? That's, they're, they're, Cause they're heading to Ryan, right? So I think that's what it's about. We'll have to wait and see, um, but I'm definitely gonna be watching it uh, like right after this. So, <laughs> I, either way, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the reviews. I hope that this comeback isn't like Sorosan, what the fuck? We thought you were dead, right? <laughs> that you guys are, are here with me. Um, and then, like I said, I'll make a post possibly tomorrow, but I'm gonna see when I can make it. But either way, it'll happen before this video goes live. That's the point. Uh, but that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your boy, Soros Croxon, and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between. Yeah.